would see Krishna Jamastami. And just to explain to you what happened, right? So you understand for good. I wasn't associating with many people. Um, I've kind of been like, you know, castigated because people don't understand me and people that did bad things to me went out of their way to make bad names for me. The truth is, I've been trying to escape this group that have been using Intel badges and stuff like that and uh, covertly being around devotional people and now they're lying to everybody that they're not even devotional, they're Gnostics or something, anyway, for many years. And, you know, I remember even when I was in California, I had to change my lifestyle because they were following me. I had to actually literally go try to date, you know, date and stuff and, and get into, you know, stuff like that. So, so you know, <laughs> mundane relationships, right? I had to get into that just to, to try to keep them away from me. That's how bad it got. They got, listen, it got to the point where these guys wanted to eat me. <laughs> they were talking about eating me. I don't even laugh, but that's how crazy it is. Demons can get really sick. And it's unfortunate, but in the West, we're, there's a heavy presence of it because the purity has been lost. The purity of, it says in the Bible, it says to be pure is um, Adam and Eve, right? When they were pure, they only ate from the seas that buried. So, so the primary thing of being a non-demon is vegetarianism. You can't be a devotee and, and eat meat. It's just, it doesn't work. You know, it's like you're eating somebody's, you know, um, corpse, some animal's corpse, and then you're a devotee. And that doesn't, and then you're devoted to that consciousness. That animal is also God, also part of God, right? There's a oneness, oneness and, 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 to, and duality. So within the oneness, that animal is also God. So you can't worship God and be killing him, making him suffer and eating him. You can't do it. So what they saw is me being close to God. Just like I explained to them. If you want to have good looks, you associate with people. You Just by associating with good people, good looking people and stuff, and people with good energy. Not necessarily good, good looking, but people with good energy. You know, that are, are, they like life. Like women, for instance, like I put in my book, they're catching, they're understanding GNA better than others because they're trying to, because GNA is about love. The earth is really about love. It's about loving potential. But people tend to run towards sexuality and then they get, oh, it's limited. Oh, it has reactions. Oh, I'm, I'm now, I'm, now I'm all evaporated. I'm, you know, no more fluid. Oh, you know. Oh, you know this and that. There's so many bad things that come after sex. So a lot of some sex is is not the is not a good solution for love. People tend towards it though, and they could get caught up in this in the circle of it. So, but that's that's the thing. So I tend towards this time instead of doing what I did back in California. I've been twenty, you know, tending towards to just you know evade them, stay away from them. I said, you know, I'm I'm tired of running from these people and having to live like you know a sinful life or not a sin, but you know getting intoxicated or or like uh you know chasing sexualities or whatever else it was a girlfriend i said you know i can't do that anymore i'm getting older it's not these guys are not going away they seem to me like they you know they're so i had to do something so i just kept going kept going towards god kept going towards god and you know things started to to work you know spiritual spirituality life started to manifest but not only that God, I started to associate with God. I said I didn't have too many friends because these guys were making they were making too many barriers, and it's it's actually it's, it speaks like that, you know. It says when you when you tend towards God, you're going to have less friends. So it's kind of because people are very worldly. So I tend towards that towards God, and I started His holy name started to His quality started to rub off on me. So people started to perceive that I was Him because they could see like the paintings and. That's Krishna. They would say some of the pictures and stuff. But really it was just me chanting his names without any bad intentions, let's say. I don't know if it was pure, but without any bad intentions. Not saying, God, oh, I need your energy. I need to fight everybody. I need to promote my race. I need to promote me. I need, I need everything. I need, like many people chant like that. 
So I was chanting very purely, very softly, kindly to God. And I was getting some of his qualities. He was rubbing off. Just as I said, you could rub off on some different people. And usually girls, they, they show that, how they can, they can help each other become beautiful. They can work together and, and to like, they could make a makeover, you know, sitting together and, and combing each other's hair and stuff. They could transform each other. It's amazing sometimes, you know, just by this consciousness amalgamation of each other and, and bringing out beauty and talking nicely and, oh, you know, and talking about love and, and sweetness. So this is a good quality that the girls have, you know, and I pointed out in my book, GNA. Um, so this is what they saw. So I'm not Krishna, okay? I don't have all these power. I'm not omniscient, I'm potent, omni, omnipresent. I don't have that qualities. If I did, you would have known about it. Trust me. I would have been done. I would have never came out with a video or anything and said, hey, help me, guys. Help me here. I'm being now, you know, disturbed by people that are, you know, gone crazy on me. So they stole things from me, thinking that I would turn around, jump in the sky, and go fly at them. I swear to you, I'm not even playing. This is, what, this is how Uber got taken. The guy actually thought that I was going to go chase him. So here I am sitting now 10 years without any dividends. They put me through hell and back. Hell and back, let me tell you. From having to be disparaged, to having to be this and that, to framing me, to pretending I'm this, pretending I'm that. Total, 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 you know, problems. It's something that they have problems with. See, when people get money and power, then they start to think about their body. Oh, my body. Oh, my heritage. Oh, my race. And then every little thing starts to be, make them sensitive. Oh, he's a different race. He, she's a different religion. Oh, this and that. And everything becomes sensitive. So this is what happened to them. They became oversensitive. He's different Catholic. He's this and that. So we have to dislike him. And we have to throw some of this. And then, you know, before they knew it, you know, before they, un before they understood that I don't have any Krishna powers, I cannot throw a hurricane, this does not exist. Every hurricane that just happened, happened on its own accord. It was never me sitting around like, hurricane, with some kind of spin or something. I don't know what they think you could do, but it never happened because it's not real, okay? In order to even get that kind of force of energy, we're talking about a, a, a mega body. The bodies that create us, the bodies that create hells, heavens, and earths, that is the kind of potency and personality you need to create a hurricane. I can tell you that for truth. And there's, you know, there's even like gods, I forgot, I was reading about it, they, that they got, you know, like in their demigod bodies. Not only demigods can do that, they have to get like a benediction to do that even. That's how complicated it gets. So like Indra, for instance, gets that benediction to become a rain god and create those things. But then sometimes demons, they'll do austerities and stuff for a while, and they'll, they'll want some, some kind of boon like that. Oh, let me, let me be able to make a tornadoes wherever I want. There's one, I think one demon like that, that they, they can make tornadoes or something like that. So all these things, they have to come on the accord of the demigods. Nobody, no human being can do this. There's no such thing. And they got to understand that. So I don't have any powers. They've been bothering me for so long, running around doing nothing because of their bodily concepts and their, their understanding of what life is. And I'm the one person, because I'm doing the right thing and trying to be devotional, I'm getting hurt. So this Asuric nature, this demonic nature that's very accustomed, right? We have it in our, our society, unfortunately. Um, which is meaning, uh, for instance, you put on the TV, there's a lot of, there's quite a few gospel channels, you know, quite, quite a few religious things going on. But a lot of it's tainted, as I said. You know, it has tainted things in it. It's not telling you about pure love. It's usually telling you, oh, you know, come to God, come to Jesus, and your life is going to change. Your life will change. It's true. Things might happen for you when you turn from bad to good. It's true. But they're not telling you, hey, worship God purely. Don't want anything in return. Just want God to be happy. They won't even tell you exactly who God is. That's another thing, you know, they... Everyone's, nobody wants to really understand it. They don't want to chase the archaeology. They don't want to see the origin of the names. You know, for instance, like Allah, is an or, the origin is, is Vishnu. That's the name of Vishnu. So these things they don't want to look for. It's a lot of people want to be like, no, 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 no. I just got to, my look, it's, I got to keep my thing secular so I have a reason to push back at others or whatever else it is. This is what a lot of people are after. Not everybody. That's why it's better to be interfaith. Always be interfaith because... 
first of all, we're all just one religion. You know, it's, it's one God. No matter what you say, what you do, there's only one God, different names. So, back to that. They started to see him, you know, God in different pictures. Just like these persons have, have paintings, by their devotion and by their benedictions from, from saints, like the Guru, Gurudev, who would want them, who wanted them to paint real pictures or nice pictures of Krishna and God, they're able to see through, like, if you, you ask Shamarani, ask the painters, their Gurudev was able to open their hearts through his pure chanting, his pure name, in order to see these things. So this is what it was, okay? I'm not a Christian. Just because you might have seen something, it just meant that I was associating with Krishna's name. Okay? So now you understand that part. And now you should understand things that I'm a living entity that's trying to worship God in peace. And I've been robbed. I've been treated harshly. I've tried to come to certain you know, ways of dealing with that and making things better. But it's not that easy with dealing with this crowd, you know, with, with people in general. Not just, you know, people that we know or they know, but uh, other outside forces, people that I don't even know that have it out for me, that have stolen from me and this and that. So basically the bottom line is it's better to stay away from me. Don't bother me. Find your, your prodigy kid. Find your person that you could deal with without harming him. And remember, remember this, okay? Yudhishthir, he was able to keep his chariot six inches off the ground, about a half a foot, floating in the air. His chariot was floating. You know why? Because he never told a lie. He was a person that never spoke lies. He was very serious, very erudite, and that's why he was the king of the world. He took life very seriously. He was a country of, of all countries, the older brother of Arjuna. So that's a good demeanor. If you want someone to have some kind of powers and abilities, he can't be a demon. He can't be running around lying all the time, trying to hurt innocent people, trying to do terrible things to people, trying to chase sexuality. You got to make this kid be good, and you got to be good yourself then. So look, it works out better. It works out good for you. Now you got to be honest. You got to stop, you know, harming others. You got to stop harming devotees so you can get potency, and you could help this prodigy kid and make him have superhuman powers. Because you know what? I, it's, it's too late. It's too late. I'm 40, 41 years old. You know, my knees are messed up. You know, it takes a lot of training. And I'm already programmed in a certain way that it would be too hard for me to even try to budge, to fly, or do anything like that. So now, you know, you teach a kid how to be spiritual, how to connect his spiritual activities to his physical, how to rise to the soul and do all of that, then you can do that. But you can't do both. You can't say, oh, we're going to pretend that Stan Lee is real and we're going to force this kid and pretend, get him angry and then say, here, like, like a carrot, you know, the carrot with the donkey, you know, chase the carrot. That never worked. And that was always a dumb idea. Okay? Humans are not donkeys. So you have to do one or the other and always do things seriously in this, in this life. If you see how Arjuna got the Gandiva bow, how he got mystic powers, because he sat and did austerities seriously, one-pointed, as Gurudev would say, one-pointedness, like straight arrow, nothing else. None of these distractions, people chiming in with their craziness. No, just one-pointed austerity he did, and that's how he got mystic powers. That's the only way, okay? There's no other way. You can't sit there and be like, oh, we're going to induce it, we're going to put a machine, we're going to hit his brain, or something never will happen trust me because as i said spiritual energy is alive it's a shakti okay and it's 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 part of the energy she's 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 like she's alive so <laughs> if she's going to be inside of you if she's going to you know induce you to do that you have to be congruent with her you can't be trying to force her trying to rape her and rape her devotees and doing this and that her like you have to be in likeness with her and try to hold her, you know what I'm saying? Hold that energy in place. And she says this. If you see the, the uh, you know, the Vignahartas, the, the lady says, you know, you're, you're trying to use an arrow of the universe's energy, but that's who I am. So you're trying to use me against me. That's why your, your thing is failing. So try again. <laughs> that's what Maya Devi, the actual 
goddess of life says. So you want someone to have spiritual energy, they have to first have congruence, likeness with her. And that has to be steady, steady bhajan. So I'm not your prodigy. First of all, if anything, I'm just a teacher. This age needs teaching. It needs reconciliation. That's what my guru would say. And he pointed that out. Because everybody needs reconciliation. There's so many misconceptions. So many half-end ideas. So many half-baked ideas. People don't know what they're talking about. People that are saying things with so many fallacies. That you have to have somebody put things together. One colleague that was doing that <coughs> was Isha Prabhu, Nanda Kumar. Good, you know, a good devotee. I used to like him a lot. And it was sad what happened to him, but he started to try to end out the corruption and he mysteriously, you know, mysteriously passed away. Very mysterious. Another person trying to do cosmology also mysteriously passed away and they stole his content. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but Sadaputa. Sadaputa also. So Sadaputa, Nandakamari, Shiprabhu. You should look. These two personalities were trying to do that. They were trying to make sense of science and spirituality, of of Western theology, Judaism, and the the Eastern Vedic traditions, and put them together. Equalsouls.org is one of his works. So this is the point of anything that I would be interested in or wanting to be a part of. That would make the only sense. There's no such thing as let's fly around. And let's, you know, that's something a community has to try to, as I said, it takes a community to raise a kid, right? So you have to be a good community and raise a nice kid. First of all, you got to be good. So that's the impetus to be good. There it is. If you want a prodigy kid that can fly and do things, you yourselves have to become good. And there's your impetus. So stop assaulting Brahmins. Stop following them around. Stop robbing them. Stop competing with them. Stop rivaling them. That's all I am, a simple Brahmin. Not looking, listen, if I had money, it would go straight to helping the suffering. Not looking for the chasing of pleasures. I know this world, what it is. The more pleasures you take, the more engulfed you are in, in maya, in unscrupulous life, and in sense pleasures that just drag you into a whirlwind. So, don't worry about me, what I would do, or how I do. Worry about how you can do the right things. Those who are following me around, trying to monitor me, trying to make it all about you. Don't worry about me. Listen, if anything, I'm trying to help you understand life. I'm trying to help you more than you're helping yourself. But you don't understand that. And you're side-diving me into all this other stuff, getting me involved with crazy stuff, terrible things, you know, recently that just happened, getting me involved with terrible, terrible things that are trying to harm me even for nothing, wasting a potential that if God has ordained me, it is to teach, to help others. If miracles occur, they occur on the God's whim, on His likeness. Now, I know some of these teachers out there that want to be that one, the ordained. Hey, listen, <laughs> be that one, but be that one. You know, don't pretend. Don't harm others to be that one. That never works. You get worse and worse. People will just say, you're worse and worse. They'll know who you are. They know who did it. They'll chase you down. They'll, or they'll say, you know, they'll, they'll tell others, and this guy is really this crooked person. He did terrible. He killed people, but physically, not pretend. Okay, they'll say that. So you understand that part. If you want to be spiritual leaders, guiders, be them. But it does never, never means that you rival with other people. First of all, just try to think about the demographics. You have, just in this country alone, 300 million plus people, right? 350 million people. They all need some guidance. So if you think that you can give that much guidance to all those people, you're out of your brain. You have no idea what it takes. People need personal exist. They need personal also love, like a father, a guru. So you know maybe you can have 10,000 disciples, 20,000. There's so many people out there that need spiritual direction, spiritual help. So you have to work as a, as a group and try to help others. That's how things can occur. That's how people become spiritually enlightened. That's how you can heal society to give up the demonic traits that have become accustomed. Demonic traits like, like um, you know, first of all, harming others, rivaling others, trying to be um, dominant over others for no good reason, 
killing of innocent animals, caging them, industrializing God's consciousness. That's that's demonic, you know. Um, war, um, you know, all these other things that have demonic traits that have you know infiltrated too much, and the, the devotee should be pushing it away, pushing, trying to get it aside to make room for a more gentle devotional path because look at the outcome now you have a, a trash bird in the ocean the size of texas they say in the middle of the pacific ocean there's just trash floating everywhere things are out of control this is demonic traits demonics don't care about life all they think is i'm gonna die and i don't think i'm gonna live after so why should i care about the garbage you know so, and they don't realize you can be you can reincarnated, man. It's already been proven and studied. You can, you know, especially if you're not going up or down, you know, especially if you're not going up, you're going to be reincarnated in this planet again. You're going to have to try again. And if, if you're not lucky, you're going to become an animal or something like that. So you're still going to suffer somehow or the other. So don't think you're, you're off the hook that easy. And, you know, try to think that, this rivaling thing is is ridiculous. There's no need to rival anybody. Give everybody their space. Be yourself. Worry about your soul. Don't compete. Make yourself better. As I said, make your conscience better by better association, by uplifting association. And uplifting does not mean putting others down. That's not uplifting. Not comparing. It's about uplifting everything, seeing the good in everything. Okay, that's the first way to start. And then go further... And get you know, and see see the see the qualities of this of this of this place, right? The the beer and the liquor everywhere. This beer, liquor, liquor and beer are like real heavy. They're not medicine. It's not like marijuana or something or or opiates or that are medicinal that can help people heal. Liquor is a actually liquor could be you know, they say it could be used for painkillers sometimes, but that's a rare case if nothing else, right? But really, it's not used for that. We know that. So, <clears throat> this is the thing. <clears throat> so you have to see the, the traits that have become, I'm not saying go and do this and that, revolutionize, and don't, don't, listen, don't quote me on that, but you have to say there's, there's traits here in the loose sexuality, of course. That's also another demonic trait. Because it doesn't look harmful, but it really is. People go crazy over sexuality. They lose themselves. They, they become alcoholics. They become depressed. They become... Um, you know, so many different things for the sexuality. They become crazed. They become overly obsessed with their body. Oh, I'm this race. Oh, I'm that. I hate those people. All oh, those people. Next thing you know, everybody's just divided. You know? So, these traits have become predominant. Sex without marriage. Um, loose end liquors. Loose end um, killing and, and slaughtering of animals. These are the main things that we have to look out for. And then lying. Lying is a, is a, is okay here. I mean, everybody just lies and lies. It's not okay though. It's terrible, terrible, terrible thing to do. To lie, bear false witness. And then you have stealing. Stealing is such a normal, regular thing that it's it's become too much. And you know the public gets ripped off. You know you got people that pay no taxes that are super wealthy, and then people that pay pay um, you know all the taxes and they work hard and they you know bust their butts they have really they have no life even they just have a mechanical life you see a lot of them maybe they go on a vacation once in a while you know and it's it's not as you know if they have God it's it's fine at least they'll you know they'll, they'll, be, they'll be better off right they say than having this loose extravagant but they're not enjoying their life so much let's just say they don't they don't get to go and stay in the nice hotels and so and then these guys are paying the taxes for society Whereas the wealthiest, they're not. So there's a lot of stealing in different ways. So these are the traits that we're seeing. And then people are just stealing outright. Stealing from me, stealing from others, you know. That's a demonic trait. It's not good. People cannot steal. You cannot plunder others. Plundering others is one of the worst things you can do. And it says in the Vedas. Um, so try to understand what's going on here. The demonic traits and why it's hard to, to, to invest and get spiritual traits to fructify and what you have to do if you want to invest in a prodigy kid or a prodigy group of kids to try to make that happen you first have to make them saints you have to make them 
vessels that are able to contain spiritual energy. That spiritual energy will be in their bodies. Okay, and radiation, electronics, it does not help, it does not work. Forget about it, get it out, stop it completely. It is a loss, sick cause. And give up all these racial, all these racial uh, pursuances. You're not a race. You're human, you're soul, you're human. You have been, you know, you're here now and you're here to make your soul known. That's your best bet. Find out who your soul is. And it's not through a race. It's not through aggression. It's not through warring with others. Those are all demonic traits. Okay? Thinking, I am the body. You read it. Demonic and divine traits. The Bible, you to read it. It says, you know, thinking, I'm the body. I'm envious. There is no God. There is, you know, forget about this. And you see the people that have become demonic. That's exactly what they're saying. Exactly what they're saying. There's, you know, God is this and that. And, eh, what a big, you know, not a big deal. So anyway, happy Jamastomy. This is a, uh, you know, Krishna Jamastomy. Uh, the birth of Krishna is today. You know, it just happened in India. And um, so I brought you some information on, on, on the pretense of hopefully pleasing Krishna, that he'll bless me in some good way and keep me healthy and, and safe away from demonics and other people that are trying to harm me. This is what I'm praying for. Please, Krishna, help me. Because they have misunderstood many things and they have harmed me for no reason. Just for being a nice, good person. You have to be able to be around good people, nice people. If you can't, your association is going to go down, down, down. There's lower planets. It gets worse and worse. You know, you could take birth in those lower planets. You don't want to, though. So try to remember, if there's good association, good quality people, don't find fault in them. Raise yourself and go higher. Okay? Raise yourself, go higher, and I'll leave you with that note. Namaste, Hare Krishna, Jai, Sri Krishna, Jai, Jamasmi.